Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum class. Welcome to English grade 6 video lessons. I'm your instructor Zia Hamid. I hope that you're doing well and you are having a good time learning new things. Now, we are dealing with our unit number 3 with the title Captain Muhammad Server Shaheed. The competency is of grammar. With lecture number 2, we will be dealing with the topic of relative pronouns that's extracted from our student's learning outcome. So this will be about pronouns and specifically relative pronouns. Let's begin by reading our students learning outcome for this video lesson to see that what we are actually supposed to do. So identify relative pronouns and use relative pronouns like who, whose, whom, which, that to join relative clauses. Now my dear learners two things relative pronouns and relative clauses and the relative pronouns that are mentioned here who whose whom which and that so we will be looking at all these and then now before starting the lecture i would like to introduce this vertical linkage with you and to remind you that you have covered this very well in the previous grade you can recall the concept because we are going to do a very interesting brainstorming activity in this brainstorming session. Now here the prompt is, can you describe your favorite teacher using words like who, which or that instead of just their name. So I know that you can do it quite well and you are familiar with using relative pronouns. So do this quick brainstorming activity, come back and then we will be dealing our, with our topic of relative pronouns and relative clauses. So we will be looking at using relative pronouns and we are also introducing you with relative clauses. Now let's read the definition of relative pronoun. Relative pronouns take the place of nouns or pronouns. They are called relative pronouns because they always relate to something or someone. They are used to join two sentences about the same person or thing. Now, we know that relative pronouns take the place of nouns or pronouns and they are called relative because they always relate. Relate to what? To something or someone that is mentioned in the sentence. And they are used to join two sentences about the same person or thing. So this is the basic uh, definition and understanding of relative pronouns. Now, let's look at more information about relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce essential or additional information about a noun as part of the relative clause. For example, in this example, the boy who has a beautiful voice recited an amazing poem at the event. Now, what is our noun? The noun is boy. And right after it, you can see the word who which is a relative pronoun and now this who and the following part of the sentence is actually relating to the noun. So this is why it is named as relative pronoun because now using this who we are adding more to the noun that we have in this case the boy. Now. Let's look at some other relative pronouns and how they are used in different situations. So this is from your page 21 of the book. The first one is who. Now let's look at an example. Here is the boy who broke the window. Now this who is actually your relative pronoun and this is telling you about and relating to the man, the noun in the sentence and it's telling us more about the noun in the later part of the sentence next one is whose 
she knew the family whose house we bought now the house we bought is actually referring to the subject the noun which is related with the word whose so whose is a relative pronoun that is connected these two parts together with the relative pronoun whom let's look at the example they have found the lady whom they want to interview now whom is referring to the lady which we are talking about in the sentence so this is relating to the lady now which in the sentence my precious blue lamp which was in the room was broken now this relative pronoun which is talking about the precious blue lamp and it's connecting it with the later part of the sentence was in the room was broken so this part is being related to the before part of the relative pronoun at the end we have a relative pronoun that now let's look at an example the lamp that is in the room is antique now that is actually is used and it's relating to the noun and it's telling us that this was the lamp that was actually in the room so hence this relative pronoun is actually relating these two things together now let's look at more uh, let's look at more about pronouns and let's see them the same relative pronouns that we used and let's see that in what different scenarios we use this relative pronouns now we know that they refer back to a noun in the main clause of a sentence the relative pronoun who refers to people and personified animals and things as subjects the relative pronoun whom is used for people when the person is the object of the verb whose indicates possession for people and personified animals and things and that relates to people animals and things all of these together which refers to animals things and ideas now all these different relative pronouns are used in different scenarios that we just read now we also talked about the term clause let's remember it a clause is a group of words that has a subject it can be a noun or pronoun and a predicate which is which can be a verb or verb phrase its subject always acts through a verb so we saw that a clause is having a subject and a predicate now who has a beautiful voice now this one here is a dependent clause but it has a subject and a predicate which is actually about the subject now this is a clause with an example moving on so relative clause is a clause that generally modifies a noun or a noun phrase and is often introduced by a relative pronoun all these relative pronouns that are mentioned now let's look at an example the girl who is playing the piano is my friend now the relative clause who is playing the piano gives more information about the girl now in this sentence who is playing the piano this part is a clause and it is a dependent clause but it has a subject and a predicate so such clauses we call them relative clauses now let's look at who whose and whom the poet who wrote this song is amazing now this whom part who part is referring to the poet and we saw that who refers to people places and things he thanked the audience most of whom we were avid fans most of whom were avid fans now 
Now this whom is actually relating to the audience. That's the girl whose presentation outshined all the other students in the class. Now, this part, this relative pronoun is actually referring back to the subject or to the noun. And we know that if we take the girl whose presentation is outshined, this will be our relative clause. What nouns do they modify or describe? Now, I told you very clearly that these relative pronouns are actually modifying the nouns that are highlighted. Moving on. Now, let's talk about which and that. This is the genre that I want to read. Now, that is referring to the genre. My radio, which is very old, isn't worth much. Now, this relative pronoun is also referring back to the noun. So, what nouns do they modify or describe? We have seen it clearly. Let's talk about our simulation video that you can uh, find easily in the description or also in the presentation. You can watch it to learn more about relative pronouns and how they are used in different scenarios. Maria learners, it's time to look at the classroom activity from page 21 of your book. You have to pick one noun and create a sentence using a relative pronoun to describe it. For example, the book I'm reading is really interesting or the car which belongs to my neighbor is very expensive. Now you can clearly see the relative pronoun. Each group takes turn sharing their sentence with the class and other students must guess which noun is being described. So it's all about referring back to the noun and understanding which noun the relative pronoun is referring to and relating to. Maria learners, this is your worksheet that would be distributed to you from your teacher or facilitator. For your homework, you have to make sentences using relative pronouns in your notebook. You can make as much as you like. Now, we are here at the end of our video lesson about relative pronouns. We have some resources for you that are easily found in the description of the video. Thank you for listening and understanding about relative pronouns that we saw and we also saw them in different scenarios and different cases. Till the next video lesson, this is your instructor Zia Hamid signing off. Allah Hafiz.